Hi, I'm Anil Kumar. Here is another question based on quadratic applications. We are talking about numbers. The question here is, the sum of squares of two consecutive positive numbers is 481. Find the numbers. Term which we want to understand is consecutive numbers. So what does that mean? So consecutive numbers means uh, like numbers 5, 6, 7, they come together, right? So which come together? One after another. So how do we define such numbers? Well, we can say, let we want sum of consecutive two numbers, right? So we say, let the numbers be If I say one number is x, what is the other number? It is x plus 1. So these are consecutive numbers. You could take x and x minus 1 also, right? But this is better. Now it's easier to form equations. The sum of squares of two consecutive positive numbers is 481. Sum of squares of two, that means x square plus x plus 1 whole square is 481. Does it make sense to you? So that is how you get your equation. So this is the first part, defining the variables, getting the equation. And now it's uh, completing the squares or whatever. Says the sum of squares of two consecutive past numbers, this, find the numbers. So when you find these numbers, there are different methods. You could use quadratic formula also, and you could use factoring. When it comes to numbers, preferred method will be to factor. Okay, so let's begin. x square plus expand this, x square plus 2ab, which is plus 2x, plus 1, equals to 481. Bring all the terms together, combine x squares. So we get 2x square plus 2x plus 1 minus 481 equals to 0. So we get 2x square plus 2x, and that is minus 480 equals to 0. You can divide all by 2. You can factor out 2, I mean. x square plus x minus 240 equal to 0. So now we have done this. Let's factor. Let me rewrite this. So we have 2 times x square plus x minus 240 equals to 0. Now these are big numbers. How do we factor that? So the idea is the difference, this is the product, right? So we're looking for a product of 240 and we're looking for these numbers to be very close. Is it okay? So how do we get those two numbers? That's another way of figuring it out. So we have to find what two numbers could give us 240. Now easy method is you do square root of 240 square root of 240. You get some number, let's see decimal number, it says 15.4 something. That means the two numbers are maybe 1516 or 1415. Are you getting my idea? Right? So let's try. What is 15 times 16 equals to 240? Do you get an idea? Right. So, so what we did was, we did square root of 240, found that it is 15.49. That means the two numbers should be, should be what? More than 15 and 15, right? That gives you, and this combination also gives you plus one difference. Perfect. So this is the best way to factor. I hope you appreciate it. So it is two times. I'm not, uh, I could delete this too anyway. So we could write this as, uh, x, since we want this to be positive, we'll keep 16 as positive, x minus 15 equals to 0. Now that gives us two solutions for that to be 0. 2 cannot be 0, but x plus 16 can be 0 if x equals to minus 16, and x minus 15 can be 0 if x equals to plus 15. We are looking for sum of squares of two consecutive positive and so we'll take 15, right? So we say x is equals to 15. The other number is x plus 1. It should be 15 plus 
1 which is 16 and they are consecutive numbers. So our answer is 15 and 16. I hope that makes sense to you, right? Feel free to post your questions and suggestions. Share and subscribe. Thank you.